Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to share secure links to emails in your Gmail account uh, using an extension called Share Emails via Secure URL Link by CloudHQ. Kind of a long extension name there. But we've done a lot of videos on the CloudHQ uh, extension, so they have a lot of stuff for Chrome and for Gmail, and it should work for Edge as well. I'm not sure if it'll work for Firefox or not. But this guy here, it'll help you make a link to a particular email, then you could share it in a chat. Let's say you're doing like a you know, some kind of a Teams meeting or a chat, something like that, and you want to share it or in your Zoom meeting, and you don't want to have to forward the email to everybody, you could share a link to that email using this extension. So just make sure you're logged in with the account you want to use it on. i got this test account going here. I'm going to click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. So it'll reload your email here. Kind of give you a little overview, which we don't need here. Okay, so we're going to open this email here. And we're going to share it by creating a link. So we need to authorize our Gmail account first. So make sure you agree with permissions, obviously, before you use any kind of extension. And if you don't agree, then obviously don't use it. Okay, so we'll try it again. So we'll copy our link to the clipboard here and click close. And now normally if you had an instant message session going, you could copy and paste it in there and send it off to whoever. But since I don't have that, I'm just going to send it as a new email here. Okay, so now we'll go over to the uh, person we sent it to. Wait for it to show up. All right, there it is. So if we click on the link, now it took us to that email, just like we saw in uh, Gmail. Just like that, same information, same email, and it even has the header information up here, the date sent and received, and so on. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you could uh, add this extension, and of course if you don't want it, you could click remove from here, or you could go to your extensions here and find it in the list right there and remove from Chrome and you'll be back to normal. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.